Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to our subscribe game tournament season two as we have arrived at our finals with a matchup between Will Be Deed and King of Yen, our second place finisher and our third slash fourth place finisher from season one meets in our season two finals. And what awaits them is a best of three final matchup starting with two alternating siege battles here in Jiameng Guan or Jiameng Pass. Now this is a level one gate pass settlement setting with high density and high development in terms of the building structure inside. And this is one of the most straightforward siege battles that you will see. There are no trees to hide your units outside. There are no fancy setups inside. You're basically attacking into a gate, two towers, and these deployable bastion siege weapons. And once you're inside, it's only four towers, two aside facing the opposite direction. Of course, if you bring guerrilla deployable units, you can attack on both sides or swap sides if you wish. And this side is going to be slightly easier because there is this terrain drop where elevation creeps up towards the gate. Now, being on the low ground usually is a disadvantage, but the vision denial will actually make it much more difficult for the siege weapon to hit you when you're below that cliff. So it gives you a little bit of a setup zone if you do go deploy compared to the main entrance, which is very flat and open and with the trebuchets covering the entire range actually there is nowhere to hide you can see the tower range which is about 300 this is 500 it covers the whole map so wherever you start deploying you're gonna get shot you're gonna have to survive through with the ammo using some sort of clever method there are some ways you can defeat this depending on pick and bands which will be active for this round and once inside, the streets are pretty wide actually, and there's many ways of approaching the center capture zone as the fighting will pretty much erupt inside the city as you breach the walls here. And this will make a very interesting first two battle as both players will get a chance at defending the settlement. The defending side will have second pick to respond to the first pick of the offensive side and the player with the faster victory from the semi-finals, which will be Will Be Deed, will get first pick of which side he wants in match one, and then King of Yan will play the other side in match two, and if we are tied, we're going to a third match blind pick tiebreaker where we will no longer have pick and bans as both players will allow to play whatever composition they feel most comfortable or feel the strongest in our first round map which is always our most balanced and interesting map for the tournament as that was the setup for last season as well as they will return to that map with a night and dry setting. This is a day and dry setting. We're taking the rain out of the equation for this siege battle because it's very difficult to attack from an open field as you do have to get through these bastion siege weapons so we don't want to make lighting up the towers any more difficult than it has to be. Uh, this battle might actually be fought in the field because the defender, while they do have this very sturdy wall, don't really have much of a choke point to defend if the wall is taken. And given that the tower and the siege weapons cover the outside very well from the beginning, fighting outside might be a very advantageous approach as they are chokes using these cliffs to kind of halt the enemy advance inside your city. So that would be a very interesting contest because bringing a trebuchet doesn't guarantee you can take down the walls since it can be answered by this trebuchet here, which matches the range and has a lot more accuracy to take down the attacking trebuchet. So a lot of interesting tactic. Maybe we'll see some surprise attack usage. Maybe we'll see some foresight response with pick bands. A lot of things are possible. So very excited to see what our two players will do in the final matchup, which will start tomorrow. So until then, bye.